from Liberty Way Realty in Lake Orion, Michigan, your local area expert. And I'm here today to talk about the elements of the offer. So when you've found a house, you've arranged your financing, you've shown the house and you're ready to buy it, you put together an offer. This is a lot of paperwork. And I wanna put in front of you kind of a breakdown of what that paperwork looks like. So let's talk about the elements of a offer, first of all. First of all, the obvious part, the purchase price. How much are you gonna offer? This should be pretty obvious, right? If, it's, if you're making a $200,000 offer, you, the agent puts 200,000 in there. What's your down payment? If you're a 20% down payment on the mortgage, then you need to put a $40,000 down payment on a $200,000 mortgage, a $200,000 offer. Um, we're also gonna mark what type of mortgage it is. Is it a conventional, is it a VA, is it a FHA, and so on and so forth. There's also gonna be this thing called an EMD. That's an earnest money deposit. An earnest money deposit is essentially a security deposit that's paid up front. Once you have an offer accepted, an earnest money deposit needs to be received and deposited by the buying, by the buying agency, agency's brokerage within 48 hours of an accepted deal. Um, so that money is held by the brokerage in a non-interest bearing escrow account and essentially holds, um, holds you liable to the contract. So if you default on the contract, you lose that money. But if you see the contract through to the end, that money is applied towards your down payment or closing costs. It's basically you prepaying um, towards the final cost of your house. Uh, we can talk about that more in a later video. There's also uh, an element of the offer called occupancy. Oftentimes, if you're, if you're selling your house, you need to find some place to live. And so oftentimes what happens is you agree to allow the seller to live in the house for a predetermined number of days before closing, after closing. So let's say, for example, it's not uncommon for me to see 30 days occupancy in an offer. So what that means is we have an offer accepted, we wait 30 days until closing, we sign the papers on closing, and then they don't turn the keys over to you for another 30 days. Um, generally what's happened there is we put in the contract a security deposit, um, money withheld from them at closing in case they do damages to the house, and oftentimes we charge them rent essentially. So we charge them a set rate per day that they are staying in there. And then when they turn over the keys, that money is divvied up by the um, title company. Also in an offer, there is an inspection contingency. You don't have to do an inspection. Me personally, I think it's a little crazy to buy a house, um, spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on a property and not inspect the property. Um, so generally, what we do is we put the inspection contingency in there. Um, it's generally between five and seven days. And what that means is that you arrange for an outside inspector to come into the house, um, inspect the property, generate a report for you, and, deter and you determine if the property is up to the standard of what you want um, in the sale. Um, also with that contingency, if, you, if the inspection turns up bad and there's something wrong with it that the, that the seller won't fix, you can back out and get your EMD back. Other parts of the contract include um, other contingencies. Sometimes you might see a contingency that says, offer contingent on the closing of, and that might be the, the house that you're currently trying to sell. Um, you might see things like offer contingent on the repair of the floor in the kitchen or whatever that might be. Um, you may also see other addendums or guarantees, things like an appraisal guarantee, buyer's concessions, seller concessions, um, along with so many other things. Then attached to that offer, you will also see what's called the seller's disclosure. This is where the seller outlines the condition of the house as well as they understand it. Has the roof been leaking? Does the dishwasher work? So on and so forth. Um, and so they've outlined the basic condition of the house to you and you sign and acknowledge that you have seen this and received it. You'll also see what's called a lead-based paint disclosure. That lead-based paint disclosure is basically saying either there is evidence of lead-based paint in the house they don't know if there's lead-based paint in the house, 
Or this house was built after 1978, and so therefore there is no need for a lead-based paint disclosure. But so next you'll see an agency disclosure. Um, we are required as real estate agents by law to identify ourselves to you, the buyer or seller, as real estate agents before you exchange any confidential information with us. So that has to be signed and that has to be delivered over to the um, seller side. Also, you, you may see an exclusive buyer's agent agreement. What that is is a contract between you and your buyer's agent saying, I am contracted to work with you and you alone for this period of time. Um, we love to have those done. It helps to protect us, helps to protect our commission. Um, but just know that those are not required for an offer. It helps me, it makes my life easier, but it's not required. Finally, you'll have uh, proof of funds uh, a more, and a more, or a mortgage pre-approval. Every offer requires proof that you can pay for it. So that either requires a bank statement showing that you have the money for the cash offer or a pre-approval letter from your bank for the mortgage. Um, attached, you might also find some other addendums. If you're buying a condo, you'll see a condo addendum. If you're buying FHA, you'll see an FHA addendum, VA, VA addendum, um, and there may be some other paperwork. But that is the basic outline of what you'll see in the elements of an offer. Hopefully you find this all helpful. Um, if you need any help, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me directly. I'm Zach at Liberty Way Realty in Lake Orion, Michigan. My phone number is at the beginning and the end of this video, as well as in the description. I would love to help you out. I'd love to be your agent. Feel free to reach out anytime.